Hello viewers, welcome to Pathology Discussion Forum and today in med school microplastics I will talk about dystrophic calcification. But before going into details, let me explain what is pathological calcification. Pathological calcification is calcification that is occurring in any side of our body other than osteoid or enamel. The type of calcification that is occurring in osteoid or enamel is known as physiological calcification. It is of two types. The pathological calcification can be divided into dystrophic calcification and metastatic calcification. Dystrophic calcification is called when it is occurring in dead or degenerated tissues. Now let's have a look at the examples of dystrophic calcification. Dystrophic calcification commonly occurs in focus of caseous necrosis. Caseous necrosis commonly involve lung, bone or any internal organ. At the center of this caseous necrosis there may be calcification and that is one type of dystrophic calcification. The next example that is liquefactive necrosis. The center of any abscess or chronic inflammation that may get calcified leading to dystrophic calcification. Another example is fat necrosis that is commonly occur in case of acute pancreatitis or any traumatic necrosis in breast. Another example is gamma gandhi body that is deposition of iron mixed with calcium, magnesium and some other minerals in spleen that is known as gamma gandhi body. It is one example of dystrophic calcification. Dystrophic calcification also can occur in center of infarct in case of thrombus or any hematoma that is adjacent to any bone. Now the dead parasites in our body that may get calcified leading to dystrophic calcification. In case of breast cancer the center of this lesion may get calcified and that is another example of dystrophic calcification. Now in case of congenital toxoplasmosis dystrophic calcification also can occur. Now let's have a look at the degenerative tissues showing dystrophic calcification. The most common example that is old scar. The center of old scar may get calcified. Also another entity known as Monkeberg's medial sclerosis. There is calcification in the tunica media of blood vessels. Also the center of fibroid may get calcified. Another beautiful example of dystrophic calcification is Samoa body. It is commonly seen in thyroid carcinoma and in some other papillary lesions in various places of our body. Old cyst may get calcified and there may be uh, calcification in various sites of our body without any known primary reason that is known as calcinosis cutis. Now, Let's talk about the mechanism of dystrophic calcification. Now in dead or degenerated tissue there is denaturation of the protein and due to denaturation of this protein, this protein component they usually bind with the phosphates and this phosphate attracts the calcium ion within our body leading to formation of calcium phosphate and that calcium phosphate that is deposited in our body in the form of dystrophic calcification. Okay, that's it for now. In our next vlog, I will talk about some other topics. And if you are new to our channel, then don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon and all the notifications will be there if you uh, press the all notification button. Okay, that's it for now.